Everything can be controlled on my phone. We can monitor this. I'm never second guessing. Should I be sitting in this one based on the pictures? What bucks are coming through and at what time? We weren't gonna be hunting antelope from dark to dark. We were gonna start going after mule deer. And honestly, I was pretty excited. Pretty nice group of deer right there. We're gonna try to make a stock. As soon as I can't see him, we're gonna make a move up this hill as fast as we can. I don't know why he's out here in mule deer country. No problem, we're gonna try to get him. Kind of what this tells me, to have him get a decoy. And I got the last range was right at 70 yards and I'm thinking, it's now or never. It's okay, John. Each year we all have those hunts that start off your season, that you look forward to. And for me, that's going to Colorado at Story Creek Outfitters. Now, usually this is the very first hunt of the season. It's spot and stock mule deer hunting and antelope at its best. I've been coming here, I think this is my fifth year. So when you've been there that many years, well, it makes it really fun because you're not only coming back for the animals, but you're coming back to see the people. It's been really dry by the looks of it, lots of dust sitting on the water. Should be a pretty good setup, I think. And uh, got a few days before the deer season opens, so we're gonna hunt antelope first, then we're gonna go after mule deer, and uh, if Joey can ever get his stuff situated in here, we're gonna hop in, but until then, I don't know what he's doing. What's that? What's going on? <laughs> and I always have so much fun out here, but honestly, it's the animals that are incredible as well. They have absolutely monster mule deer and phenomenal antelope hunting. And to me, going off and starting off your season with a bang, it's something I absolutely love. I actually was here years ago, killed a nice antelope right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this up right in front of the blind, kind of watching this water hole. That way we've got a scout at this water hole. So I'm never quite second guessing, ah, am I sitting at the wrong one? I'll know exactly what's coming to both. So we're gonna get this set up and then probably head to the next blind. Now one of the things that I really like about using these link micros is it is easy as can be. All you literally do is flip it on. You can control everything on this camera right from the app on your phone. And you can control the sensitivity. You can see the photos. You can see the card space, the battery life, the cellular, how good of a signal you have. Everything can be done. So when you're in the field, all you need to do is remember to flip it on. And then you've got a scouting tool right in the field. So next up, as we were coming up on the second water hole, we actually sat up high and did a little bit of glassing. And in my spotting scope, I spotted a huge buck, nice and wide. And it can be hard to see them through the spotting scope because, well, it's hot up. And when it's hot, you've got heat waves in your spotting scope, but you could tell this was an incredible buck. We set up another camera and decided this is the place we were gonna hunt. Again, very easy to use simply going to flip it on and everything can be controlled on my phone. We can monitor this, watch everything, see what's going on. And what's nice is we can hunt that other blind. I'm never second guessing, should I be sitting in this one? I know exactly what's going on here and we can make our decisions based on the cameras, based on the pictures, what bucks are coming through and at what time. So we had everything situated and I was pumped to get out there for our first full day antelope hunting.
Closed captioning provided by DSG Outerwear. Doing something great for women in the outdoors by outfitting with the ultimate in fit, function, warmth, and comfort in women's hunting gear. Designed specifically for women, by women. Outfitting every season from sizes extra small to 5XL. Visit DSGOuterwear.com to locate a retailer near you. This segment was brought to you by Sportsman's Alliance. Our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. Did you know hunters and target shooters have paid $6.8 billion in excise taxes since the inception of the Pittman-Robertson Act of 1937? This was a self-imposed tax by sportsmen to fund direct conservation efforts across the country. Just another fun fact showing how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. Most of the time when people think of antelope, you don't think that you need to sit from dark to dark. But the problem is, if you don't get out there right away, you're always wondering, were those antelope already in here? Did I miss out on them? And we had pictures of antelope coming in the dark, which most people say doesn't happen, but we also had the cameras up, and I didn't want to risk it. We only had three full days to antelope hunt, and I thought, we are going to sit it out. And as far as the weather, you couldn't ask for better weather. In the forecast, we were looking at highs close to 100, and it had been extremely dry. Joey said they haven't had rain for over a month. It is hot. They're gonna get thirsty, and they're gonna come get a drink. So there's always this anticipation. We were sitting in there, waiting it out, and we were seeing a lot of activity. In fact, that first day, we had a nice antelope come in, and I decided, you know what, just not quite the size of antelope that I'm looking for, and we still had two days left. And I'm a big believer in, well, would you shoot it the last day? If so, better shoot it on the first day. And I decided, nope, this is a buck that I wasn't interested in shooting, and I'd rather go home without using my tag. So I decided then, okay, this is where we're gonna go. We're gonna be looking for a big buck, and one thing that makes it easy, well, when you're sitting there and you're debating on shooting this buck and you can literally see 150 yards out, a buck that looks like it could be a booner, well, that makes the decision a little bit easier. You know that they need to water. This is where they water and it's just a patience game at this point. The one thing happened that hadn't happened in a month, it started raining and I'm thinking, how could it possibly not rain for a month? And then when I'm here antelope hunting on a water hole, we have rain clouds moving through? Seemed crazy to me. And even though you might get disappointed and you might think it's all over, we decided to stick it out. It didn't seem like it amounted to much rain. And I knew that the land was so dry that it probably soaked it right up. And I was so thankful that we did because after the rain, well, we had another encounter with a good buck. We finally got that big wide buck that we had been watching, came in with all his does, and he was over to the side. Now you can imagine sitting in a blind, you've been sitting there all day, every day, and now the buck that you've been waiting for is just 30, 40 yards away, but a window isn't open for him. And that's the way it works. Unfortunately, you can't be moving windows down when you've got bucks and antelope in that close, so you're stuck. That buck just keeps coming back. He's so thirsty, but he just refuses to water. No such luck. So now we need some more. The thing is, deer season was starting. In fact, Saturday was the very first day of deer season, and our plans, well, they were gonna change a little bit. We weren't gonna be hunting antelope from dark to dark anymore. We were gonna start going after mule deer, and honestly, I was pretty excited. Pretty nice group of deer right there. Memory Chase, building our future one child at a time. Memory Chase is all about getting more kids involved and features home video from viewers just like you. This week, we're heading to Texas for Havelina with 12-year-old Logan Wrinkle. We're here in West Texas uh, hunting javelina. It was 30, 36 degrees this morning and it's 82 now. And I got my Rage Broadheads and I'm ready to go.
Thanks, Melissa, for inspiring kids to hunt, and thanks for all the cool uh, Daily Passion uh, sweatshirts and hats you gave us. Do you have an amazing youth hunting experience you'd like to share with us on Memory Chase? You got him, buddy. Yeah. Each week, we highlight one young hunter on the show and present them with a huge prize pack that includes a brand new mission bow. For a chance to see your favorite kid on TV, visit MemoryChase.com for details. After all, our future is built one child at a time. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Hard-Hitting Easton Arrows, Golden Triangle Whitetail, Winchester, the American Legend, National Deer Alliance, HHA Sports, the leader in single pin technology. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology Plus. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Convergent Hunting Solutions, where experience, innovation, and passion meet. Spy Point Trail Cameras. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV, UTV accessories. Awesome first morning out here in Colorado. We're at Story Creek Outfitters. Today is opening day of mule deer season, and we're covered up in mule deer. Pretty nice group of deer right there. That first morning out, Joey and I, we were glassing one of the big dry canyons that we glass every year and we spotted buck after buck after buck. I mean, there were so many bucks in one group that you look at it and you're like, I can't hardly believe this. When most people see that, they think, well, how could you not get one? There's bucks everywhere. Well, we've got a good one spotted down here, and the best part is we've got a good wind and we have cover to get to, and that's one of the most important things. Now, we've seen several other deer. Right now, he looks like he's the best, but you just never know in these big bachelor groups if there's gonna be more that you encounter along the way, so we're just gonna ease our way along here. We've got a wind coming up right in our face, and we watched him bed, hoping we can make it work. Time to get it done. But getting them in the right situation for the perfect spot and stock, it's super tough. Uh, this country's thick. And then you gotta remember we run into seven, eight sets of eyes, uh, noses, all that goes into play. Apparently we had a second deer bedded here to our left on the way in here that we did not see, which is typical. And uh, he busted us. Well, busted Melissa. He didn't ever saw me. I know he didn't. You were first, but... Yeah, sure I slipped by him. That does suck. <laughs> well, that's the hard part. You sit up there in your glass and yeah. then you try to make sure they're by themselves. And you got one other one that busts yeah. out that you don't even know is there. So. So although we were seeing really good bucks, we didn't see a lot of good opportunities for stocks. So we decided, you know what? When we're done mule deer hunting, we're gonna switch gears, go back to antelope, and then the evenings when it starts cooling, we'll go back after mule deer. We've been hunting mule deer all morning. We just saw a nice antelope buck. He's just going over the edge of this hill. We're gonna try to make a stock. As soon as I can't see him, we're gonna make a move up this hill as fast as we can. He might even see me get curious and kind of come back toward me, so. I don't know why he's out here in mule deer country. No problem, we're gonna try to get him. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. 
Matthews Archery. DSG Outerwear, doing something great. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Silent Legion Suppressors, embrace the silence. Everly Stock, go in light, come out heavy. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Winchester, the American legend. Bino Dock, what a cup holder should be. Safari Club International, first for hunters. Redneck Blinds, the best hunting blinds on the planet. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. This segment was brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Show your hunter pride by joining today at safariclub.org. So we started and we tried. First we got on one nice buck and just things didn't work out. We don't have a decoy, just kind of made a move and thought we'd do the best we can, but Kind of what this tells me, to have him get a decoy. And I'm starting to think, have we wasted our time? Because I'm seeing these spy point pictures and we've got bucks hitting the water. So the one time we're not there, now all the bucks are getting a drink. And I've got one picture after another at the times that we're normally sitting in there and I'm thinking, I think I made a big mistake here. I should have sat in that blind. But instead I thought, you know what? We're just gonna keep after it. And we just spotted, we saw a doe and there's actually big buck behind her. It looks like the one we've seen for years that splays way forward. We're just going to kind of use this brush to stay between us and see if we can't get in on it. He's a dominant buck. He's been the man of this area for a long time. So we quickly got our gear together, made a stock, put the brush in between us so we could just keep going at him, went straight for him, and we got there and he was still there. And they were actually feeding toward us. Popped that decoy up, got behind him. I was afraid if I put it up, he'd just come charging in, but that's not the case. But the good news is the does, they were interested. They were curious and they weren't quite sure what was going on. And I got the last range was right at 70 yards and I'm thinking, it's now or never. I'm shaking so bad. He was quartering too just a little bit, but I can't even. <laughs> It's hard to believe that you can get this excited for antelope, but when you have worked so hard and you get out here and you just keep trying and trying and trying and it works out like this, oh my gosh, I can't wait to go look at them. <laughs> I can't believe it. See it blinking right there. I mean, in all honesty, if I could do a spot and stock hunt for any antelope I've ever seen, this would be the one and I was just beside myself. Wow, look at that. Got my nocturnal blinking, got a rage tripan, put a huge cut in them. Got penetration, you know, almost all the way through there. Wow, what a cool, cool antelope. We have been seeing this goat out here for years and we finally got it done. And honestly, I would be so happy with any antelope, but to get this antelope decoying them, it's incredible. If anybody has ever tried spot and stocking antelope with a bow, it is not easy. And to take a big, old, mature buck like this, wow, what an awesome deal. 70 yards behind a decoy. We got it done out here at Story Creek Outfitters, and I've had so much fun. And just when you think it can't get any better, you get something like this. And even though we hadn't had any luck with mule deer, we had spotted so many big bucks. To me, this was the perfect ending. Now this is not something you see every day. He's actually got a prong growing right off his nose. 
as if this wasn't a cool enough buck. Then you get that, never seen that before. Closed captioning is brought to you by Spy Point Trail Cameras. Stunning picture quality combined with leading cellular technology will keep you instantly in the loop right from your phone.